Yep, we are once again continuing this game with three members of Council slash Hope left. Council plus Hope, my bad. And, uh, yeah, we're doing Fauna today. How's it going, everybody? I am back today with another video, and yes, we are continuing Hollow Cure Save the Funds. And, uh, yeah, something I want to point out, by the way, is that if I go to Achievements and go to Fandoms, I am rank 2 of uh, the Gura Fandom. And she is currently at Oshi level, which the bonuses for this are insane. Three random skills gained at the start of the game. She only has three. Plus 10 HP, plus attack, and plus 10 speed. What? And now uh, I'm going to become a true chum bud uh, right now. Because I have the money. And uh, get her to however you say this word. And uh, you guys notice that after you reach Oshi, you can't do the requirement you kept doing to get them to said level anymore. So, that's interesting. One more G rank level up, and I'll be able to do that. So, something I want to point out first. I got Amelia 13 times. Ina 11 times. Kiawa 14 times. And Callie 11. Yeah! And that was all trying to get 20 for Gura. So now we are about to get 21, hopefully. Darn it. Yeah, we have 20,000 uh, bucks here, so... Hey, I unlocked her new outfit, and I believe she got the rank up. I don't believe she did, but... Oh, complete all the following requirements. Never mind, I guess, uh... I can't do that right now. Because I still have to complete stage three and, uh... <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess that destroys my hype there. But hey, I got everything for Gura. Which is great. Anyways, enough time. Let's get oh, enough time wasted. Let's get to Fauna herself. Now, she has uh, Nature Shield. Create three razor sharp leaves uh, that spiral, spiral around. Well, outward. And then Mother Nature, summon a giant tree that creates a healing zone. In this zone, Fauna gains uh, a 10 second invincibility buff. So, Fauna, I think she got a buff to where she could probably do the don't move challenge. But I still highly recommend doing it with Sana because of her immense pickup range. So, let's get right on to Fauna. Hey guys, just a quick little um, clip before the start of the actual episode. Uh, this is what happens when you reach 30 minutes. Every mob deletes itself and they all turn into Yago. I already killed a Yago. Also, uh, this is the build that I recommend you guys do to get to the Yago. And to make a buttload of money, which I have done both. Uh, now, you can do this with another build, 
you can do this exact build with a different character. Um, I highly, highly recommend you do it with Ina because with a specific build, most likely this as well, uh, you can make Ina immortal. So I recommend you do it with Ina. I'm doing it with Gura because I wanted to prove that it was possible, which it was. And Gura is also my favorite, as I always mention, so... Yeah, here's the Yago stage. This is what the achievement to kill a Yago means, by the way. End up with this. Trying to see how long I can honestly survive. So, I'll see you guys when I do end up dying. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I also apparently have a button to show skills, collabs. It shows me page one. I don't know how to get to page two. And my stamps. These are the current stamps I have. The three I always use. Let's resume. Okay, so officially, I died at 31 minutes and uh, four, well, three seconds and got the achievement, but I have feathers, so I have extra lives. So let's see how far I last with those extra lives. Also, another tip. Uh, if you want to try to do the immortal run instead of a money and immortal run, I recommend replacing this with um, full combo meal so you can double your healing from the taco and the nurse's horns. Just letting you know. 31 minutes and 55 seconds because death lag. But not bad. For being not the immortal Ina? That's not bad. That's really not bad. So, that's the end of this starting clip. Back to you, helper. Regular helper. Oh. Now, I feel like it would only be fitting to do fauna in the grassy plains because nature but i've been doing all of council in the hollow office so yeah let's do it also sorry for the thing you guys saw yeah her directional doesn't matter um the reason for what you guys saw was because of the second clip you saw. Also. This is what it meant by watch the TV for 10 seconds. Just stand right here and not move for 10 seconds. I did that achievement off camera. Yeah, and this is why I highly suggest using um, <clears throat> uh, sauna, because Fauna's doesn't really hit too well. <clears throat> Sapling. Defeated targets have a 5% chance to drop saplings. A sapling heals 3%... A sapling heals 3% and increases Fauna's attack and speed by 30% for 50 seconds or guardian tree right she's the guardian in nature when healing a branch will grow under a random nearby target dealing 200% damage so fauna's entire thing of course is she heals because well yeah she's nature makes sense 
but I'm going to be getting the sapling. So, uh, with Fauna, I highly recommend you do a healing build because she gets better with healing. Whisper. The reason why she has Whisper, by the way, is because she does a lot of ASMR. Every 10 seconds, gain one Whisper. Maximum three. Uh, and that will become a better max, I believe, uh, the more your level is up. Each uh, stack heals two HP every two seconds. On taking the next hit, consume one Whisper to negate the attack. And there's my sapling, which is the fandom, by the way, for Fauna. And uh, let's get, yeah, see, maximum four now. So that's the thing that increases. Uh, Nature Shield level two. Increase damage by 20% and increase uh, hit limit by five. Let's do that instead. Because the better I get this up, the faster I get this up, the better. And hey, I've just gained one Whisper. Which has immediately been used. So Fauna is really good for trying to do immortal builds. But I still prefer Ina for the immortal build. Because, well, yeah. If this game had a multiplayer, you will never die if you did um, Fauna and Ina together. Like, it's insane. Defeated targets have a 7% chance to drop saplings. A sapling has a uh, heals 3% of Fauna, and Fauna's attack and speed goes up by 50% now. So let's do that. I need to upgrade this leaf at some point. And Nurse's Horns, the best thing for uh, Fauna to have. Because it's a healing item. I know I should have been picking up those experience points, but yeah. Now, as you can see, Fauna is not really that strong, so she has to rely on her healing in order to, you know, do damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to having it like this. So, Fauna and Sana have similar attacks in terms of they go in one direction, no matter which way you're facing. And the Immortal Fauna. Temporarily Immortal Fauna. Now, Guardian Tree. Every time I heal, I summon the branches from the ground. And as Fauna, I'm going to be healing a lot. Reduce time between attacks by 15%. Going with that. Because that's going to be very, very useful. But yeah, you can see when I heal because it uh, is injuring all of the people. All of the fandom. You know what I mean. Goodbye.
So it's really good how this all works with uh, Fauna, and yeah. Uh, let's get idle costume now because that's gonna be needed. Oh, I lost all my whispers. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That was a painful hiccup. Shoot two additional leaves. Go with it. Because now my attack is way better. Nurse Swords level 2, please. Increase area of attack by 30% and increase uh, hit limit by 5. I still have no idea what hit limit means. Maybe it just means like. You can now hit five enemies with one leaf? I don't, I don't know. But... Like, I know a few characters had the hit limit thing, but I, I just... I have no idea what it means. Now, other than one item, I'm still going to be going for my, like, I'm still going to be going for my money build because I love the money build so much. Like, earning so much money is so fast. I love it. Now, I'm just not going to be getting the X... Yeah, I'm not going to be getting the XP glasses. Because... Eh. Have a 10% chance to drop saplings and increases me by 30% now. So let's do that. Now, uh, the reason why I'm not going to be getting the glasses this time is because with fauna I need uh, I need to make sure I guaranteed get the double healing because I believe at some point my oh I realized I could do this by the way I don't know if I already said that and a different thing when I get my guardian tree up to level three if it can go up to level three I believe it has a thing of the damage increases depending on how much I'm healed. I could be wrong on this. So if I make myself get a double healing, then I will, you know. Also, double healing with a healing build. Not a healing build. With a healing character. Oh, that's just busted. So why wouldn't I try to go for it? Uh, Nurse still in level 3. I should have grabbed Whisper level 2, actually. So I can gain more Whispers. Healing! But yeah, playing as Fauna can be really good for this exact reason that I'm showing you guys. Level 6, increase damage by 30% and remove hit limits. 
So I think that just means now it can hit everything at once. See, I'm skipping out on these glasses so I can get the thing. Shoot two additional leaves and uh, aim towards targets. Yeah, there we go. Now, Fauna's leaves are a lot more useful. Because now they home in. Or hone in. No, it's home. Because homing attack. Yeah. Yeah. And because I keep picking up my saplings, I will never run out of my 15 second boost. So the 15 seconds is basically never ending, just like with uh, Sana and her... Astrology? I can't remember what it is. Uh, now it's 250% uh, healing, but I'm going to be going with Whisper Level 2 instead, because I need more Whisper Shields right now. Now, um... I want to try and do an achievement run when I complete everything I can in the game. But there's one thing that's going to make that very difficult, and that's the one achievement where um, I have to get... It's the true RNG achievement where I have to fail a uh, rank of point two. Which isn't easy. Lava bucket. Irony. Also, there is a collab I discovered off camera accidentally trying to get a different collab. And it's really weird. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. Well, not in a minute, but when I find both the items for it again. You know what I mean. The immortality tree! Yeah, if you stack up the saplings, these branches will come out a lot. What well, picked up one of those? Because it... Hmm. That was interesting. Uh... No, it's not cutting for I'm not gonna do that. Oh, hello, Gold Yago. Goodbye, Gold Yago. Man, I wish I could get my piggy bank. I also need bouncy ball because yeah, bounce ball because that is the uh, one item for the thing. Let's get better branches. Something is making these uh, magnetic or something. Let me, let me look this up.
Yeah, nothing says the, um... The saplings become magnetic. Maybe it's just if you don't pick them up after a certain amount of time, they automatically come to you? Ah, yeah, that is the case. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Alright, that, that's good to know. If you don't pick up a sapling after a while, it will automatically pick it up for you. I like that. Gain five whispers. Nothing else changed. It's just, the more you level this up, the, the more whispers you're allowed to have. That's about it. And again, the reason why she has whispers is because she does a lot of ASMR. At least she used to, from what I know. I don't know if she still does. But at the time of making the game and making her abilities, she did do a lot. Okay, now it's 300% damage. Okay, I was wrong then. My bad. I thought it... Nah. Maybe it was a thing and it changed. I don't know. See, I'm not even taking any damage, and uh, I still get my healing, even if it's not actually healing me, because in order for the healing to count, it has to exist. It doesn't have to be, you regain health. Because if it was a matter of, you regain health, then that'd be pretty, pretty bull. Lava level 5! It's so ironic that I'm throwing lava buckets as Mother Nature. Or Guardian of Nature, rather, because... There's Bounce Ball! And I don't know if it looks like it's bigger from Sana's levels, but... You guys can probably take a guess on why it would probably be bigger. Or smaller, I don't know. Maybe it's the same size. I don't pay attention. But I've said this a few times with cutting board and the bounce ball on why it says effectiveness with certain characters and increased size with certain characters. The hint is there. It, it is. And it's going to be a lot more pronounced and noticeable when you guys see it with the, you know, next episode. Let's get... Costumes. 
you. And Fauna's shield is almost, well not a shield, but Fauna's special is almost ready, so, uh, and I lost all of my whispers. Mm. Immortal! So yeah, now I'm no longer getting hit for the duration of this. Uh, for six more seconds. It's a good way to avoid a lot of these things, like this. And apparently I stood in the best spot to avoid that. I know my mouse direction doesn't matter, by the way, but I just like turning when I turn the mouse. It just feels more realistic that way. What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying earlier, but eh. Sorry. But yeah, hopefully I can get the um, CEO's tears shortly so I can show you guys the collab I accidentally discovered. I wonder where my whispers are. And there's stolen piggy bank. Thank you. I am not taking that off. Ugh, I've had so many wasted packages. Like off camera. And I'm not a fan of it. Now, uh, my money build won't be as insane because of the glasses, because the glasses, you know, support the piggy bank, but eh. I need to try to get the double healing. Which, you know, is a rare, rare item for me to get, so I don't think I'll get it. But it's understandable that it's a rare item for me to get, because it's super stinking good. Oh, hello, Silver Yago. Really? Okay. Ooh, I just re realized, what would the rainbow stamp look like with Fauna? I know it looks really beautiful with Sana, but Fauna does kind of the same thing with multiple leaves. And they spread everywhere, so... Curiosity is there. It is there. Level four.
I might re-roll my next one. Because at this point I feel like I need to do some re-rolling. I did the immortality so I didn't have to constantly worry about these stupid things. Which it worked because uh, I didn't get hit by a single one of those barrage bomb things. Uh. Yeah, re-roll. Come on, give me the dang tears. Where the heck's the dang tears? I used all my re-rolls. really not cool. I'm trying to show you guys the accidental collab I got, but it's not giving me the item that did it. That's such a pain. Surprised that there you go. I was about to say, I'm surprised you didn't throw any of your lava buckets yet. She just did. Immortal for a few seconds, uh, name I still can never remember. And immortality tree is gone. I was hoping that would last long enough to kill you. I really hope I can get the tears, by the way, because I desperately need those tears. Uh, no. There we go, the CEO's tears. Okay, so the collab I accidentally discovered is uh, the CEO's tears and the bounce ball. Which I think I already said. Or you guys put two and two. Three. I don't know, but uh, you'll see what this collab is shortly. It's pretty weird. Now I'm gonna stand still real fast and let things go how they go. Level. Level 2. 
I had to make sure I don't get the suggestion for that stupid cup again this round. Like, I will use that thing yeah, sooner or later, don't worry. But not right now. Uh, tears again. Level up the tears again. So, something I realized, getting the achievements of become a true fan of each of the characters is probably going to be incredibly hard because of, you know, complete every requirement thing. So, like, it was already pretty annoying with Gura and the, uh, win a number of times thing. But, hey, I'm, after I do, after I play as every single character, I was going to say that differently, but then realize what would happen if I did. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to be trying to do achievement runs. So, after, after I use all the characters, that does not mean the series will be over. Uh, the series will be over when I get every single achievement, and then resume when the game updates. If the game is still getting updated. There is coming soon characters, so maybe it is. Let's get level 5 tiers. And I don't think I'm going to be getting that full meal anytime soon. I got scared for my actual game health for a minute there. Thanks to these huge microphones. By the way, this ability producing a tree is why I feel like it would have been better to put on a, you know, the guardian of nature in the nature level, but eh. I'm getting my whispers back lately. Uh, let's get glow stick. Cause there's a combination I discovered uh, uh, when trying to look up all collabs that I feel like doesn't make that much sense, but at the same time makes a little bit of sense and would be very useful. is why I need the double healing. Which, you know, I'm not getting for a stupid reason.
Let's go back up here. I know I don't have to keep coming up here, but I just like... I just like being in the same area as a chan when she leaves her chair. So I can, you know, be better prepared for running away. Or in Fauna's case, be better prepared for turning off the tree. Shoot backwards! Yeah, cause that's gonna affect my leaves. Finally, a useful one. Alright, look how big the leaves are right now. Y you see it? And now look at the leaves. Yeah, wait till that gets to uh, level three. And there's the uh, other item I need. All right, so now my level ups will turn into uh, getting things that I need to level up. Or time is up. Hitting R instead of W. Or E instead of W, not R. Up to close stick. Thank you. Uh, up three. Up four. Thank you. But hopefully, if I'm unable to kill the humongous bomb, when I activate my tree that makes me immortal temporarily, hopefully it will also make it so that I am immortal to the auto kill. And here is the crab I accidentally found, which doesn't make sense to me. Ring of fitness. Constantly throw a ring of fitness balls. Hope nobody walks in. Yeah, imagine this comp. This collab with the character that has the biggest effectiveness with this thing. With the bounce ball. That is the only uh, thing I'm going to say about this situation. Ooh! And there's my curiosity! And it's pretty, but it's not as pretty, because the green takes away from the fact that the leaves are already green. So, eh. I'm so glad I'm able to do this, by the way. 
And after discovering that, ugh, after discovering that, I figured that that is a fast way to make even more money if you're about to beat the level and to, or or rather if you're doing endless mode and you're about ready to uh, you know end the run with an on purpose death you can go here go to stamps and sell all your stamps which by the way if a stamp is at level three it will gain even more money So that's really good. Nope, immortal. Need to. Because that row was about to kill me. Invincible to that sucker. I'm not getting the full combo. I I feel like I'm definitely not. It'd be really great if I did. I need the Psycho Axe next, so I can, you know, do the thing I always do with the Lava Bucket. You know, just raining lava is so, so fun in, in games. Now, if you're able to make, make it rain lava in real life, don't. Don't. Yeah, look at this. Because the rest of those are equipments, and I'm trying to save my last equipment slot. I mean, it's two minutes away, so maybe I can do it right now and not worry. Yeah. Use the tree. Three seconds left of the mortality. Two. One, move. I guess it registered to zero, but eh.
Uh, I'm getting hurt a lot. And I don't like it. I need to get... Uh... I need to get another collab. The other collab. Real soon. is the only time I'm gonna die. Unless it's on purpose. I need to eliminate the monkey paw, I just realized. Uh, I have one elimination left, so I could have. And ticking time bomb is here. I still cannot believe that one episode, I think it was last episode, where I last second killed this thing. Like, that was still insane. Hurry! Oh, my god. It's never exploded on me, and it never will explode load on me. Unless I eventually let it. Which that will not happen. Something else, by the way. I wish, um, I wish the website that, uh, hosted this game would have on their page a thing saying that the game updated because you know I think there is a way to say that it updated but I'd rather not do that way because I think it involves payment oh my god See what I mean? The, the double healing thing is not showing up for me at all. It's so rare for me to get it. That's why I always pick it up when I see it. If I see the feather before I see that double healing, I'll take the feather. That. 
Oh boy, I have a minute left for... I, I need to level up within this minute. I need the anvils. I do. Very useful collab that I was hoping to get. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get. Yeah, with Fauna, go healing builds. If an item says it heals you, go with it. Thinking about it, probably should grab Uber Sheep if I don't find Feather or... Cooking, not cooking. Full meal. Because that's a bunch of burgers getting dropped, which is once more. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was painful. That was painful. So that had nothing to do with the thing I like that had nothing to do with the stamp. Yeah, no, I'm not getting this collab. I need a lot more saplings to drop. And I need a lot more whispers to be given. And 20 minutes, everyone's gone, run. It's a shame I'm not going to be getting that collab, but eh, eh. Eh. Almost dead. Close. Might as well have these both level six. I'm not going to be able to level up two more times, but.
This, this is why I wish I had the double healing. The fact that I've nearly died so many times. Because Fauna's healing game is really, really good, but her defense is not. Also, this lack of leveling up is why I always get classes. But you know, I wanted to be greedy and get the full combo meal, which I've never seen in this run. Go figure. Immortal. The tree is pure decoration, by the way. It doesn't actually do anything to enemies. Uh... Is the achievement there? Yeah. Uh... You know, it's weird how Mume and Fauna don't have 10 minute challenges. Actually, I think Bay is the only uh, Bay has a 10 minute challenge. Crony doesn't. Mume, uh, Fauna and Mume don't. Okay, Sana does. Why don't Crony. <clears throat> Why don't Crony, Mume. And, uh, not Mume. Well, yeah, Mume. Why don't Crony, Fauna, and Mume have one, but everyone else does? That's weird. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was the uh, Fauna run. Uh, we got a buttload more cash. Not as much as I would have if I didn't do this a couple times. But hey, at least we have every Gura outfit. Which, by the way, this is this one costs 15, so I'm really glad I unlocked this by accident. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have two more characters left until we move on to the next map and to uh, play as... I did not mean to hit my mic. And play as the gamers in stage three. So, I'm going to be ending this video here, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye!